Hello all my tween library users, Miss Ashley here and today I'd like to show you how to make a paper picture frame. Now it sounds easy and it's it's really not a hard concept but um, I've learned the hard way that when you get to the rolling stage for this paper picture frame that one requires some finger muscles so um, we'll see how we do. Let's get started. You are going to need to grab from your supplies at home your favorite um, coloring utensils. I happen to prefer markers, so I've grabbed those. Um, you'll also need glue stick and scissors. And if you've got one, an unsharpened pencil will work fantastically. Otherwise, just grab a regular old pencil, okay? Um, and your craft kit should start with a yellow template that looks kind of like this one, okay? Choose whichever color you'd like to use to start off with. Um, I am going to work with my white one here. Just that one aside. Okay, and your first job is to actually there it goes. So you're gonna cut along the, the two sides where our templates kind of printed a little crookedly, okay? So quickly cut around those. And while you're cutting, kind of think about the picture that you're going to, or the message even, that you're going to put in your frame. Um, I happen to have brought some of a favorite animal friend of mine and my family's you can use any kind of picture or you can even draw a picture or write a message inside your frame completely up to you but you might want to um, think about the colors you're going to use if you like to match things okay there's my two pieces torn off there all right your next job you're left with a whole bunch of rectangles and squares you're going to cut out each of the pieces in the corner. So you're going to cut out four pieces here. three almost done here all right we got all four all right so you are left with something like this so your picture in the end is actually going to go in your middle portion here um, and you are going to decorate all four of your tabs okay if you happen to use something like paint or glitter or anything that's that's wet make sure you let your design dry completely before you start rolling just keep that one in mind all right so i'm going to do a very quick design on this one we'll see how it goes Something to keep in mind too, when you're rolling the sides of your picture frame together, not all of your design is actually going to show in the final product. Um, so make sure you keep that in the back of your mind as you're drawing or coloring. Um, if your heart is set on something specific, you might find that it turns out a little bit different than what you were expecting. So 
the picture that I have brought, like I said, is of a favorite furry friend. She was, um, <laughs> you'll see what I mean, but she was quite the queen. Um, she had special treats and couches and she didn't exactly eat dog food. She ate human food, unfortunately, and she was quite accustomed to that. Um, but she was the biggest love you would ever meet and she was a St. Bernard. Um, so she's, she was quite big, but she was wonderful. Her name was Beulah. My oldest child actually couldn't say Beulah. Um, so <laughs> we ended up nicknaming her Ba, and for some reason that stuck. So today I know her in my heart and in my head as Ba. <laughs> okay, I've got one more side left here to quickly decorate. And friends, I hope you take your time and have come up with an awesome picture on your picture frame sides here. I'm trying to get mine on as quickly as possible so that I don't keep you waiting too long. Said she was kind of the love of our lives I chose hearts to go through this one with and when you go to roll up the sides of your picture frame you're actually going to flip your pattern over so that the side that you colored on or designed on you want that down so like I said make sure it's completely dry my fingers are already turning red from our washable markers here this is a step where you're going to need your uns unsharpened pencil if it's sharpened no big deal okay so this requires a lot of finger muscles. So you're actually going to, you see, there you go, roll it in here. <laughs> it's tough to get that first one started. It takes a little bit of practice, but the good news is you can keep trying. Okay. Yep. I've got one side done. And it I use thick paper so it will hold its shape a little better for you. Just makes it tough to get started, but you'll get the hang of it. Okay, working on my second side here. And you can actually, once you've got the initial roll done, you can actually kind of curl it back up with your fingers um, and roll it down tighter. Help hold that shape a little bit more. Do you see what I mean about not seeing your whole design come through? You kind of get bits and pieces of it, but that's okay. Okay. Side number three, rolling up here. And slowly but surely, I am going to get side number four. All right, okay, got them all. All right, and if you need to adjust them up a little bit, you can. And get them to hold their shape. So there you have it, friends. There is your picture frame. Now, your picture frame is actually designed to hold a five by seven photo. Um, it slides right in there perfectly. You also could put in things that are smaller. Um, so I brought both a 4x6 and a 5x7 just to give you uh, a, a preview of what it'll look like. So I am going to go ahead and put some glue here in the middle of my frame. Now before I do that though, um, I will say you could also just draw a picture in the middle here, draw a message, whatever you wanted to display that is meaningful for you, go for it. There it goes. Top didn't want to come off my glue. <laughs> All right. Okay. So in this one, I am going to put my 
four by six, just so you can kind of get, ooh, very sticky, an idea of what a smaller picture would look like. <laughs> I cannot wait to show you this picture. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. And then I also made um, a sample just so I had another one ready ahead of time to show you what a five by seven filling that space out would look like as well. So I'm going to go ahead and glue that one down too. my picture. <laughs> Can't wait to show you. But I want you to see the final product all rolled up too. Oh, that's slightly crooked. Uh oh. You're like me and your picture lands just a little crooked? Perfectly fine. <laughs> okay. All right. Here we go. The big reveal. So this is Vaughn. Like I said, she was the queen. <laughs> In this photo, she's actually dr driving a motorhome. She liked to steal your seat as soon as you stood up, so it was the whole move your feet, <laughs> lose your seat type of thing when she was around. But she was the biggest love you would ever meet. So I wanted to show her off today in the paper picture frame. Okay, so like I said, you can fit either size here, five by seven in this one, four by six in this one. Okay. And you could put magnets on the back of these if you chose. You could just hang them up with pieces of tape, whatever you picked. But these would be a great and expensive way to uh, show off some of your artwork and your photos. Okay. So today's tween craft kit um, is available anytime the library is open. We'll have them out as soon as our door is open. Um, and you can pick them up while supplies last. So, Ba and I will talk to you soon. Bye.